Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to episode 5 of my Ruthless SSF Run on Acropolis League. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. The internet kept going in and out. We had a uh, classic main winter storm in the spring. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't lost power yet as of 5 o'clock. And it is uh, Thursday right now. But uh, <laughs> it's still snowing pretty hard, so I expect to. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, I'll see you near the end. So it is early on Wednesday morning, and uh, the patch just came out. And I have to tell you right now, even though I'm a little sad that they're already buffing the league, I think like it's going to be crazy strong. I mean, that's fine. I I'm, it's not a huge deal. But uh, I just want to say the quality of life stuff is pretty incredible. Now when you open a map, you can actually see like the percent chance of like increased corpses or whatever and whatnot, which is pretty cool, so you can make more informed decisions. And on top of that... The uh, modifiers are actually organized. And at first, I was kind of against the idea of choosing your bases. But after I did like three or four crafts trying to make a sword, let me tell you something. I have never really used one-handed swords in my life. And uh, I learned very quickly, there are a lot of really dog shit bases for swords. So, uh, yeah, I know that now. Anyway, overall, I think this is a very positive change. I don't really like stuff getting buffed that early, but uh, that's okay. No big deal. The struggle that is coming with Cleave is uh, becoming less severe, which is really nice. The main issue I have right now is I'm still not res capped. Obviously, my damage is still kind of rough, but it is getting better. I can really feel the difference. I keep bouncing between using, like, Berserk or using Rage Vortex or both. And to be honest with you, I, I'm back. And, it's like a back and forth because, like, when I use Berserk, my god. My damage almost doubles, or it might even double. I'm not even exactly sure. And uh, it's pretty nice. But once that rage is gone, my range is so bad, I usually end up dying or having to, like, slowly kite around for a good, like, 10 seconds, which can be really awkward against really, like, rippy fights because uh, if I'm not attacking, I'm not leeching, and I'm dying. So the other option is to use Rage Vortex, which, yes, it does give me some damage, nowhere near as much as Berserk, but it lasts way longer, and it keeps doing damage even when I'm not attacking, so uh, I can maintain leech. Or leech, sorry. Anyway, I went for a sword gamble, and uh, I, I actually got an upgrade. At first, uh, I was looking at, I was like, oh, it's only like 1,000 damage, like whatever. And uh, no, it was a lot more than that. <laughs> it was, it was a lot more than that. The uh, main thing, though, uh, you have to remember, obviously, that's just paper DPS. But you know, it, it gives you a rough estimate. Of like just how much you're jumping up in power. And let me tell you, I could instantly feel the difference. Rare monsters were dying slightly faster. And uh, that's that's all I need. Like bosses, they can take a little while. That's fine. No big deal. But when I'm struggling to kill rares in a map, it's a bad time. Like that rare right there. Well, I can't even talk. That rare right there has endurance charges. And he's dying faster than he did before I have this weapon. So yeah, good times. I am absolutely loving the Scarab changes, my god. Without a doubt, the absolute best change they ever made for Ruthless. It feels so nice, I feel like I can see so many more mechanics than I usually could, and I don't feel bad like doing that mechanic, even though I'm not fully specced into it on the tree. It just feels so nice, like the great one of the greatest changes they've ever made. Uh, anyway, I completed the lookout map, but let me tell you, I hate poison. I hate poison so freaking much. Poison kills me more than anything else. It is absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, I actually completed a Blight and uh, got a Melee Splash. Which, granted, is not a good support, but uh, I can swap it. You know, that's the dream, or three don't want it. Because the main thing I'm looking for right now is Rage Support. Rage Support would give me a ridiculous amount of damage. My god. And it would also let me get an additional Rage on hit. Which is uh, pretty huge. Going for a 3 to 1 here. <laughs> of course, it's Spell Totem. Spell Totem. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, as you can see here, when I use Berserk, my damage is pretty nice. <laughs> at least by my standards, anyway. I actually got two uniques, and they were both complete trash. You gotta love it. Um, my first tier 10, I was really hoping to get a red map. Just because it would be nice to finally see if I could do a red map. I think I could if the mods weren't too crazy. But it didn't matter because <laughs> it, it didn't drop. So uh, back to farming. Uh, the map sustain has been pretty nice. I keep going down to lower tiers just because I want to get XP. And then, oh, hey, mark on hit. Let's go. But then I'm like, nah, I just want to progress the Atlas. <laughs> and I keep doing rippy stuff and deleting all of my XP, which is uh, 
very depressing. I vowed that map, hoping it would go to a tier 11, and uh, <laughs> as you saw, it did not. But we did get an offering, which is pretty cool. I am definitely not ready to go to Uber Lab. I mean, I feel like I could, but I would just have to play really safe, and it would take a long time, so <laughs> I don't really want to do that. Uh, I did make a heavy belt. I did not have a life modifier on it, and to be honest with you, I just need res. I didn't even care. I just wanted some resist. It's so bad. Having like, hey, key rack. Having like literally 40 lightning res in tier like six to eight maps feels really, really bad. Anyway, key rack has a tier seven I need, so I jumped into it. The mods were kind of rippy, but honestly, I had no problem. I did die to the map a few times, but I did not die to the boss. And of course, in true key rack fashion, right after I completed the map, he uh, sold me another one I needed. So yeah. And just think, I don't even have much invested in Kirak. I don't really go for the 0.5 nodes anymore. It, it doesn't feel worth it to me. I think it's way more efficient just to go up through the middle, take that flat, or not flat, sorry, take that 2% Kirak and just go from there. It saves you so many points and you get so much percent. And honestly, it's been more than enough. Now, granted, if you're like just running up the tiers really, really fast and you're not farming a lot of maps like me, then yeah, I don't think, I, I think I'd go for the 0.5s. Anyway, I started doing some Delve. Honestly, it's been okay XP. I've been dying, like, quite a bit, to be honest with you. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, he has a prefix and a suffix. That is, uh... That is the greatest axe I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't think I've ever had... Well, well I was gonna say on SSF, like, Bench League, but no, I've definitely had higher than that. But Ruthless? Not a chance. I was praying for a 500 DPS. Like, <laughs> praying for 500. For, like, the last, like, what? Have we ever gotten one? Like, four or five leagues? And, uh, we got a 700. To be honest with you, I instantly re-rolled. And I mean instantly. I, I got out of that delve, I tried fusing it, and I logged out and started leveling up. I also got the Ellie hit I was looking for, which is pretty sick. Pretty happy to have that for the re-roll after this one. But, I have not done a red map as a Berserker, so I still have to do that before I can play any other Ascendancy. And as you can see here, we are playing Earth Shatter. I have been wanting to try Earth Shatter since Ruthless first began, but I did not want to play it until I had a real two-handed weapon to use. I didn't care what kind of weapon it was, I just wanted something awesome. Finally got one, and I finally get to try out this skill. And as you can see here, this is me using a crappy level, like, 50-something axe. Well, I guess it's not crappy. It's a pretty good axe for level 50. But, like, even now, I'm doing, like, literally double the damage of Cleave. It's, uh, it's pretty sad. As soon as I hit level 68, I, uh, got out of this map, as you're gonna see. I was waiting so long, man. I was like, yep, time to leave. Look at, look at this damage. Again, it's only paper DPS, but just look at this. 6k... <laughs> 17,000, what the hell? So I went in, fought the boss, and, uh, oh, you're gonna see here in a second. This is more damage than my Cleave of Rage character could ever dream of. Oh my god. And we have so much, like, so many levels to get, so much more gear I want to get. Oh my god. And we're not even using Berserk yet. The only, man, I really wish there was a way I could get Rage from Warcries. I think the only way to do that is on Bench League. But maybe there's like a cluster jewel or something. I don't know. But if I could get that and automate Berserk, oh my god. <laughs> like, dude, this would be insane. Uh, I instantly started using my tattoo uh, all flames, whatever they're called. I've been avoiding using them because my uh, cleave can't do it. And this guy destroys them, man. This guy kills like the, uh, the boss for the tattoo things faster than cleave kills a tier 2 map boss. Which is pretty sad. I had an axe craft getting ready, but I'm not going to need it anymore, so I just kind of wasted it. So I pretty much skipped up to like tier 3 or 4, I can't remember. And uh, I just just throwing in the tattoo all flames, man. Like, I was struggling to use any all flames at all on the uh, Cleva Rage character. But on this guy, it's so fast. Like, honestly, like, <laughs> I had to just like, I just got lost in thought for a second. Just remembering how long it took me to kill just uh, the lightning dude in Act 10. Or sorry, Act 9. And on this character, I killed him in like seconds. Also, I did not know that the... Uh, which one is it? I think it's Rallying Cry. No, not Rallying I think it's uh, Seismic Cry, I think it is. Actually stuns and like cancels the abilities of map bosses. Which is uh, something I did not know. And it's uh, it's kind of wild. 
So, like, the Lightning Dude in Act 9, you can just cancel all of his slams. You just cancel them. He just, he just doesn't do them. It's a pretty good time. But, of course, you know, this character doesn't have to worry about that because <laughs> we have an axe from freaking... I don't even know, man. Straight from Yevon. Like, my god, this axe is literally 700 damage. <laughs> I can't even believe how much it does. Uh, we finally got the Atlas skill trees, which is pretty sick. On top of everything else that the Atlas skill tree gives you, just the fact that you can be like, all right, I've, I just want to do some chill farming on like some lower tiers, you know, without crafting it very much or anything. You can just switch to a different tree, not have to like respec or just like have kind of an inefficient, awkward tree. And just farm something. Re uh, I, I was doing that at one point with Essence, just to give you an example. And my god, it felt so nice. Like, I was pretty close to a level up, and I didn't want to keep doing the rippy maps I was doing. Because I'm trying to get more completions. And I just went down to, like, tier 3 or tier 4. It has, like, no map sustain, but it has, like, Alva, it has Essence, it has more Scarabs. And my god, 10 out of 10. What a great league. And also, why am I getting all these Kiraks? <laughs> I only have the 2%. Uh, we got another tier 10 done, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I went to go get a third War Cry because two was not enough. And uh, <laughs> my internet died at the perfect moment. At first, I thought I was dumb. I was like, am I just not clicking this right? And I was like, control clicking and everything. But no, just my internet. I probably lost connection like <laughs> literally 30 times. It was a bad time. But at this point, like I said, I haven't lost power yet. So uh, <laughs> hopefully I'm not jinxing myself. We still have Uber Lab to come, which is going to be fantastic. I plan on running a low-level cast when damage taken, like I am right now, with a Desecrate. And it's I don't think it's going to be crazy damage, but just adding more corpses to explode with the Ascendancy. Because every time I Warcry, I get to detonate all the corpses around me, which is pretty radical. And I'm pretty sure it's physical damage, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I'm pretty excited for that. And on top of that, I believe it gives you, uh, you get plus one exerted attacks with your Warcries, I think it is. And uh, we dropped the baby Pandemonius, or Pandemonium, whatever it's called. So I guess I have to farm tall this league. Oh, God. I have to spec into Breach. I have to. Like, dude, think what I could use with that. I mean, it's not going to be good for Ellie Hit, but, like, <laughs> I'm going to use it for something. I just don't know what. So I do have a lot of red support gems, and I, I could do a 3-1 to one right now. But it just feels kind of bad. I feel like I should farm some Merc Lab, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to do it. But I feel like it would be really good just to try to get, like, Pulverize or maybe even Fist of whatever it's called. I don't really know what I'm going to use for a support. I don't think I'm going to use Trauma. Anyway, I created a pretty awesome amulet. It actually hit the <laughs> the Mana Leech that I wanted. But unfortunately, I'm an idiot and I forgot to put on less Caster modifiers. Completely forgot. I, I put less Attack modifiers and uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think about Caster. I don't know why. Anyway, here's me doing some lower level maps. I can tell you right now, the new Essence modifiers are insane. My god. Like, it's going to seem not that crazy at first, but once you realize how good it is, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to want to turn Essence off. So now when you open an Essence, if you have the node, the boss will have one of those random Essences on them as well. So yeah, just think about that. And don't forget, we have that new node now, or the new uh, Scarab where you corrupt the essence, and it can't open. It either just goes up or it corrupts and, like, changes them. So, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty sick. I'm looking forward to making some essence this league and uh, making a ridiculous amount of, like, <laughs> prismatic rings. I don't know why, but I'm going to. I've been getting quite a few completions done, which feels pretty awesome. This character has no issue killing any bosses. The only thing that really kills me is poison, and uh, <laughs> Fizz Reflect, which I definitely did not run once by accident, and brick a map I needed. Anyway, we got a tier 7 or 6 there, I think it was. And this tier 7, I almost forgot to turn off my vulnerability, because uh, if you curse that man, he will make you die. But it's okay, I did not forget. Uh, fun fact, the, uh, the mobs are bugged with Essence, so uh, be careful about what you're putting into your map. <laughs> and if you have Essence, because they'll just attack you anyway. Anyway, here you can see the boss actually has the essence on them. Granted, this is a really shitty one, but it's really not a big deal because I'm just using it to turn rings or amulets or whatever into rare, so I can three or five to one them or turn them into prismatics. So it doesn't really matter. Also, that is a <laughs> if that ring would have had life, it actually would have been a god tier ring. Whatever, it's cool. Uh, tier nine done. So uh, we're getting up there. <laughs> Pack size done. Hey, if you made this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. 
I am level 77, 19% of the way to 78. We are res capped, which is awesome. We have some pretty decent armor, at least by my standards. And of course, we have the greatest weapon I've ever seen in my entire life. I love this axe so much, and if I ever get an exalted, it is going straight onto this guy. Uh, anyway, my gear is okay. I've got the 5 link on. I would like to go for crafting a 6 link, but I have other priorities right now. This amulet is really nice. God, I wish I would have I wish I would have remembered to put on the less caster modifier. Because if this would have gotten an extra res on it, ah, it would, it would have been perfect. Uh, my boots are probably my next goal, but I still I've seen one speed modifier like the entire league, so <laughs> I'm not holding my breath on that one. My belt has no life, which feels pretty bad. My ring has no life, and my other ring has no life. So uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. Currency is okay. I actually have some Horizon saved up. My uh, Atlas is at 59, and we have 61 points. So my two trees, I have my base tree, which gives me you know a bunch of map drops, plus one chance and whatnot. My other tree has Essence and Alva. Probably going to be running some of my Alva incursions, like the Scarabs, just to get some temples. Uh, I have the Essence nodes, which are fantastic. <laughs> I have both sides of this because I want Remnants of Corruption. That way I can corrupt my uh, stuff. I'm going to get the uh, map drop chance to, I think, 20%. I think that'll be enough. And then I'm going to finish off by getting a ton of Scarabs. The goal with this tree is Essence, Alva, and a ridiculous amount of investment for Scarabs. Uh, anyway, I've used up all my Essence because I'm doing some crafts and whatnot, getting ready for some Prismatics and 5 to 1s. Uh, outside of that, my gems are looking okay. I really need to... Uh, I almost 3 to 1 multi-strike, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be using this axe a lot this league, and I'm probably going to need it at some point. Anyway, that's pretty much all i got for you today. I uh, I just really want to get back to playing. I want to level this character up. I'm going to do Uber Lab. I might do it now, or I might wait until I hit level 80. Anyway, thank you for watching, and... <laughs> little monkey. Hopefully I have power tomorrow.